Hello. Okay, so last time we weren't able to finish our like whole lesson. So I'm gonna continue from there and I'm going like a little faster today than yesterday. Okay, so, so yesterday we learned about like location words. We went over like we and meet. Today we'll go over sok an yob apti. So um, just a reminder, um, we was above or up on top or up. So whenever you have a location word like this, like all of this words, you will have um, a as a place marker or a location marker. So right here it says that there is a cat on top of the desk. So we a means on top. And then we also learned that yesterday that something e or ka. So thing plus e or ka isoyo means there is. And since the subject was added, the cat was added. So you know what um what was there is referring to. And then also they referred the um, location because you see A right here on top, on top, we A and the desk. And then if we want to more be specify, more, um, more uh, any multiple prior, primary topic, then you can change the topic. Um, so for example, right here, kuyangi, you can change to an in front of it, of the um, the location. Okay, and then same thing right here. It's bid below, um, under or down. A was added, so you know that this is referring to the location. Um, and then G means a red. And then we mentioned that the thing again, the thing plus or E or ga. So there is a right below the desk. Same thing if we want to make the subject like the animal to be more prior, then you can do it like as in this way. Okay, so that was from yesterday. I am moving on. Okay, so this is same thing we went over. Um, penguin, peng, penguin, penguin is um, penguin, the animal. And then yesterday we went over there is, so e is soil, e or ga is soil, but since there is a pachim, e was used. And also to locate, to indicate the location, there is a locate, uh, location marker was used, a, so is this one so inside or in of the desk right here and then also same thing you can change the subject subject um and then the the location same thing yoppe tiksang yoppe yoppe um side next to so same thing right here yoppe ape Ape is a front. Ape, right here. Ape. G, G A. G A. You can see the location markers. Um, th those are just the same thing, same sentences, but different um with the different animals. Okay, so I'm gonna go over an via this hook. So remember that on a on a here it's so or an right so an is used when you have open or when you you can open or like look inside so things like bags refrigerators buildings or other structure have doors like that you will use an instead of so so for example right here hakyo hakyo it's a building right so therefore you will use an a an a oh why right there i flipped it okay so i flipped the the translation um 
it should be my friend is inside the school and piengi an e iso piengi is something that you can open so something like other structures have opened so you use ane piengi it's an airplane piengi ane isoyo chingunun hakyo ane isoyo because it's a building and also this is the structure that you can open so is used when you have abstract spaces like when you cannot open or see inside so liquid or non-physical locations like dream your head your um i miss the r your head or your hurt so te maum soge tangshini isoyo so maum as my hurt soge is inside so like this is abstract space like you can really see it it's it's the non-physical location so that's why you used um so a instead of an 당신이 있어요 제 악몽 속에 하마가 있어요 악몽 is nightmare nightmare you can really see it you can this is abstract, abstract spaces like non physical locations it's a dream so um therefore you use 속에 instead of 안에 and also remember that 제 was 저의 yesterday we went over possession so cho e was shortened to te and te cho e it's the pol uh, polite and also te is polite um right here amung so maum is referring it's possessive of my so my um also right here it's nightmare and then so sok and ane sometimes interchangeable with a smaller physical locations something like a bag so kabang is small like you can see it's a very small space so in that case you can use ane or soge so kabang ane kimbabi isoyo kabang soge kimbabi isoyo same thing kimbab is well kimbab is um korean food so kimbab the thing plus e is so there is kimbap ane is inside it's a bag so we'll do more practice on conversations um ku kuginen bewoyo so ku is referring to that right kugi is referring to me Nunen was used is a particle bewoyo it's the basic form rule right so if it was be, be, it's the meta meta this is the um and then ta this is the basic rule form so um you um also you was added to be polite so and then they said they yes bewoyo spicy it's spicy orange juice ka isoyo do you have orange juice orange juice remember this was something that we learned yesterday um you have orange juice and then they bewoyo orange juice ga opsoyo buri isoyo this was something that we learned yesterday as well. Like, don't have up soil, up that. So this one was form of itta. This one was form of up that. And this one was form of itta. Um, so, and then we'll do sentence jumbled as a practice. So using this listed words, um, you can create like the, the sentences here. I will do those two here, the first two today. I will give you um, like a minute and then I will go over it. Um, can you please let us know like what's the meaning of socks? Oh yeah. And then homework, like just those two words. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm.
So socks is Yang Mai. Homework is Sukje. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back. So by is che te. Te Yang Mar or um Choi Choi was shortened to Che Yang Marin Tek Sang We is so Ku you don't remember that you don't you didn't really have to like refer if you are talking and you both know what you're talking about, then you don't really have to put the possessive, like the pronouns, um, pronouns. And so to go over this, ke his sukjenen she wo yo sukje, and then the particle, and then easy. This is the basic form. And if I have to go over this, um. Your older brother is here. Ne, ni, or ni, because when you say it, it's ni instead of ne, because ne is similar to when you're referring to my. So um, when you're speaking it, it's ni. Ni, upa, nen, yogi, isoyo. So this one is basic form of this shitta. Isoyo is basic form of ita. Okay, so we'll go over more verbs. So lu. So lu changes changes based on basic form rules. Then liu is added to the first character of steam. So for example, right here. So right here it says paruda to be fast. Lu change to ra ro and then add liu before ra ro. So right here you delete the ta and then you are left with the pa ru, but we are, when you're referring to the basic form rule from yesterday, it will change to a. So para, but since it's regular. You will use the rear at the pachim on a prior letter. So you add a pachim right here. This is the same thing, one of the example of an irregular verb type. Puruda is to call sing. You delete the ta. And then you're left with the puru. Ru. And then you ref you when you back refer to the the chart that we learned yesterday. It will change to a so pura. You add the liur at the pachim right here. So pura, boruda, to no, well, do not know. This is not you don't know. Um, so boruda, you delete the ta, and then you have a boru. When you refer back to the chart, it's gonna change to a, and then um, add the liur. At the pachim, so bulla. This is the same thing. And then um saying and in the list. So we'll go over how to say and. So wa and kwa are used to connect the nouns in the list. So um whenever you so whenever you have to use and, you will use wa and kwa. But there is a rule that you can apply. Whenever there is a pachim in front of the wa or kwa, you you will have to use kwa. If there is no pachim, then you will use wa. 
So wa and kwa is used as a connect the nouns, but never sentences. So right here, example, banana wa, there is no pachim, right? So you will use wa. Right here, there, there is just nothing like you're not connecting it. So you will use the particle and then the bashi soil. So banana wa, kyuri, banana is banana and then kyur is tangerine. So banana wa kyuri bashisoyo. It's saying banana and tangerine is delicious are delicious. Um right here, kuyangi wa, this is and kanaji ka particle, chakeo, nice. Cat and dog are nice. So whenever you're connecting, when you're saying and this wa or wa or kwa will be used. When you have the pachim, you will use kwa. When you don't have a pachim, you will use wa, like examples right here. Okay, so um, in English, you use comma to list the word. Um, words like something, comma, something, comma, something, comma. And then you, when you are referring to last word, you will use and. In Korean, you will use wa or kwa is required between every word in the list. So I'm at an example right here. Um, banana, wa, banana, and kyul, kwa, tangerine, and melon, e, washi soil. So you notice banana, wa, and there is no pachim, wa was used. Kyul has a pachim, so kwa was used. Melon, there is no end, so particle, and then so banana, tangerine, and melons are tasty. Okay, so the past tense. The past tense we have, um, we'll, we've been going over the past and, um, present tense so far. We'll go over the past tense. So the past tense, um, when you're making a past tense, you when you um, have like this, chuo, you will, when you have like no pachim, then you will use like shiur at the, um, at the pachim. So chuo, this is already changed um, from the da form to the basic form. So this is the basic form, basic form. And then you will add the sang shiur, sang shiur. This is sang shiur at the um, basic form. And then you add a. Uh, so chu wo so chu wo so right here this is um taga means it is small right so taga yeah taga it means it is small sang shiu was added right sang shiu is added and then add o taga so so these two forms are the past tenses there are um, examples I made. The past tense, um, this is chusu, chusu. Um, ku, ku is that. Ku chusunun taraso. I chegi oryo wasoyo. Ku kimpabun me wasoyo. So you can, um, See that you can see that ku chusunun taraso. You can see that this is the past tense, right? This is the past tense. E tegi oro wasoyo. This is the past tense. Ku kimpabun be wasoyo. This is the past tense. You can see that be wo be wo. You can it should be me wo if it was a basic form. Let me just write it here. Um. So if it was the basic form, it was mewo. But since this is a pay, uh, past tense, the sangshu was added, and then o was added, and yu was added to be polite. Same thing right here. Same thing right here. Oryowo. Oryowo, right? This is a basic form. This is a present present form. This is a present form. The sangshu was added. Sangshu was added. All was added, you was added to be more polite. I mean, to be polite. Tara. 
para it's the basic form to be more uh to be to make it past tense it will be tara so all was added and then if you want to make it polite tarasoyo could just n tarasoyo okay so um can anyone volunteer using um using any of this past tense to make other sentence Just anything will be okay. Um. Okay. So I'll try. Okay. Um. Uh. Ku. Mm -hmm. Oto. Mo. Mogo soyo. Mogo oh. toyo. Yeah. What was the like first? Like when you thing? eat. Uh huh. Ku. Ku. Uh huh. Poto. Ku goto. Oh. Poto. Poto. Po poto. Like uh. Poto. Yeah. Like grapes. Yeah, pudo. Yeah, because po the pube, pube sounds like p. So pudo. Oh, okay. Um, so ku pudo nun. Uh huh. Ah, go so yo. Mo mo kom so yo. Like when you eat, yeah, mm -hmm. mo. Right? No. Right. You're right. Okay. <laughs> right. So ku pudo nun mo go so yo. She said, "Oh, uh, ku." This is actually the. Uh, we'll go over this we'll, we have the slide for this one um she used the past tense okay so um the present tense the present tense um of birth like ita or opta so this one is already has this one already has the sangshio so in this case, whenever you're referring to ita or an opta or opta, you will add the o, o soyo, o soyo, o so i i o soyo, o so soyo, i i i so soyo, i so soyo, o so soyo. So there it was. I had, um, there it wasn't, or I didn't have. So if it was a present tense, it's so you. If it was present tense for this one, up so you, there is, there was, um, there is, there isn't, and then right here using the past tense, goyangi ka up so so you, there was not cat, because this is the um, the past tense, right? So kada to go, oda to come. So kada it's the da form, right? The dictionary form and oda it's the um also the dictionary form so the location is marked with the um marker a like we mentioned before so this is one of the conversational phrases that you can use right here um when you add the place in front of e da, e kada, or um you can also place plus e oda so e kada means to go to place on something like the place that you're referring and then e oda come to a place that you're referring so right here there this is an example i went to school um 저는 저는 학교에 갔어요 갔어요 this is the past tense so kada is the ta form you change to um past ten basic form and the past tense it will be kat kasoyo abodinen sore kasoyo this is also the past tense that he uh father went to school i mean the the soul so also a is used in time markers so whenever you're referring to time then you will use also a so time a kada Time plus e kada. Time plus e oda. 친구가 친구가 금요일에 금요일 is time. E 왔어요. My friend came on Friday. Use so this one is um referring to the time. So therefore e was used. 친구 means a friend. And then 왔어요 is coming. So um and 왔어요 it's the past tense. So came. Using times and locations right here, 
So um, you can use both a e in the same sentence. So time and location. So 토요일 a e, 토요일 means Saturday. 편의점 a e, 편의점 is uh, the convenience store. So this one time, this one is location. So both were used in a sentence. 제 J means uh, procession, right? So, J, my girlfriend, 여자친구, particle, and then Saturday, A, the time, A, 편의점, convenience store, A, this is the location, A, 갔어요, 갔어요, it's the past tense, right? Um, right here, this is an, another example. 저는 금요일에 금요일 it's Friday Friday a is referring to the time 태국 a this is the location a 왔어요 it's the uh, past tense so this is um I came I came to Thailand on Friday 금요일에 그, 저는 금요일에 태국에 왔어요 okay so the future tense Future tense will do or going to do. So, real or 을 거예요 form. Um, future tense, if there is no 받침, if there is no 받침, then real was, real will, will be added. So, 가다, you remove the 다, same thing. And then real will be added. So, real right here will be added. And then, 거예요 will be added. So, 거예요 will be added. I will go. Um, I mean, not I will. Since I did, there is no I, um, will go. And then, 오다, you delete the 다. And then, 리을 is added. 올, you add the 거예요. 올 거예요 will come. 빠르다, you delete the 다. And then, you... Add the real, butter, and then you add the koeo. Butter koeo will be fast, will come, will go. And then whenever you have a pachim, and then you will add a ul. So you have pachim right here. This will be itta, manta, chota. You remove the ta, I just removed it. And then you will add ul after the steam. So you will add ul after the steam. So uh, ul is added, isul, banner, chol, and then you will add a koeo, isul koeo, banner koeo, chol koeo. So I will just make sure to know that real, whenever you have no pachim, then real will be um, added and koeo will be added. If there is no, I mean, there is a pachim, then ul will be added and then koeo will be added. There is an example sentences for future. 서울에, 서울에 갈 거예요. So we learned that A is referring to the location. So lo location, 서울에 갈 거예요. So 갈 거예요. This is the, the, the future tense because 리을 was added and 가 거예요 was added if it was... um. This, so it was transferred from the basic form to the to the future tense. Um, 오늘은 집에 있을 거예요. 오늘, today, 집, house, referring to the location, 있을 거예요. I'll be at home. 있을 거예요, 올 거예요. Um, 수요일에 친구가 올 거예요. My friend is coming on Wednesday. So this 올 거예요 is also the um, the future tense. Wednesday means, um, 수요일 means Wednesday. 친구, friend. So this is the time. Time. So A is referring to the time, right? Can anyone volunteer using any of this future tense or any of like the one that we went over, like any of this?
I will give you like in a, a minute since. Onurun Hakyoe Isul Koyo. Yeah, perfect. Onurun Hakyoe Isul Koyo. So um, she said, today I will be at school. That's what she said. So right here, she used, so, so here she used 오늘, today, 학교. So she, she used the A because this is referring to the, to the location, 있을 거예요. It's the future tense. Okay, so future tense also has a be regular verbs. So right here, 춥다, 덥다, and 맵다. I just didn't write the 다 right here. So 맵다. So um, you delete the 다. So 다, you will delete all of this. And then add a, then remove the 비우. So remove the 비우. Um, you remove the 비우, and then you have to chew. And then you have the tall, and then you have the mat. So chupta means to be cold, topta means to be hot, metta to um to be spicy. You remove the pil, and then you will add ul. So you will add ul after the steam. So chu ul, ta ul, be ul, and then add ko, koeo. So chu ul koeo, ta ul koeo, be ul koeo. So, 금요일은 더울 거예요. 시험이 어려울 거예요. 시험이 쉬울 거예요. 일은 추울 거예요. Okay, so this is the real 거예요, probable, probable future outcomes. So, also, you can, so this, um, 울 거예요, the future tense, you can, um, it also means it will be, it will probably be, or it might be. So, like example here, 내일은 추울 거예요. So they are assuming, assuming tomorrow will be um, probably cold. So tomorrow will be probably cold. And then right here, 이 김밥은 매울 거예요. The te oh, why did I write that? Same. Okay, so 김밥은 매울 거예요. It means that 김밥 will be spicy, probably spicy. Um. 시험이 어려울 거예요. The test might hard might be hard. 시험이 쉬울 거예요. The test will be probably easy. Um, can you repeat after me? 내일은 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 추울 거예요. 추울 거야. Yeah, 추울. You can yeah you can say yeah too if you want to be casual. 이 김밥은 이 김밥은 매울 거예요. 매울 거야. Mm -hmm. um, 시험이 시험이 어려울 거예요. 어려울 거예요. 시험이 시험이 쉬울 거예요. 쉬울 거야. Perfect. Um, can anyone volunteer to create Create one sentence using any of the verb here, or you can also use not. You don't have to use like it will be probably or it might be. You can also use as a future tense, like real future tense, like what will happen. Um, I will give you a minute, and then you can tell me. So anyone want to try? This one's harder. <laughs> yeah, this it is. Um 
It is. But this is the future, yeah, future outcomes. So I will just add, you can use any of these verbs too. So like, 추울 거예요, 더울 거예요, 매울 거예요. Um, can I say it like, uh -huh. um, 언어를 uh, 비 있을 거예요? 오늘은? 오늘은? Mm -hmm. like, P, like, like, raining mm -hmm. now, like, P, or Goyo, perfect. P, yeah. P, go, Goyo. Unurun, P, or Goyo. Or you yeah. said you go, yeah, too, if you want to be polite. I mean, not polite, Goyo, right? Casual. P, or Goya. P, or Goya. Mm -hmm. P or go. Okay. If you want P or go, A. Okay. Yeah, I think I'd rather be like polite because I don't know yet when to be polite or when not to be. Yeah, this, the ones that I'm using, it's polite. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, go, A. So, whenever, so it doesn't, for everything in a future tense, you will add go, A at the end. You just have to remember okay. um, after what happens after steam. So if you have a B irregular, then you will add, you you will add a ul and then goyo. If you have um pachim at the steam, then you will add a ul koyo. And then if you don't have a pachim, then liur will be added as a pachim in the steam, and then koyo will be added. So whenever you hear koyo, that means just a future tense. You can also. that's just future tense, okay. It's not necessarily polite. It's Goyo, goyo, it's a polite. Okay. Yeah, goyo, it's a polite. It's Koya. future tense, uh -huh. polite. It, no, future tense, it's goyo. If you want to be um, casual, then goya mm -hmm. will be used. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So ko, everything goyo, if everything like you was added, then you it will be, be polite. Polite, right. So, but if you want to be casual, it will be koya. So, 내일은 추울 거야. 김밥은 매울 거야. 시험이 어려울 거야. 시험이 쉬울 거야. That's um, casual. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so the month. The month, add word to the Chinese number. So, remember that we learned about the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, well, that we until have um until 12, like December. So that's why it's until goes up till 12. So just, and just add the number, the Chinese number plus the the month, 월. So 1월, 2월, 3월, 4월, 5월, 6월, 7월, 8월, 9월, 10월, 11월, 12월. So this is an example. E war, it's the time. So A is added. E war, 중국에 갔어요. 중국 is the location. So the location marker is added. So E war, 중국에 갔어요. 갔어요, you know, 가다. Remember that um, it's go, it, it means go to. This one is changed to the basic form. And then... Um, you was added, um, and I mean, and then the past tense, and then you was added. Okay, so every Monday, every Monday, every January, etc. So when you are referring to um, like every Monday or every uh, January or like any month or any like days, then you will add um, 매주 in front of any week or 매년 in front of any month. So, 매주 금요일에 서울에 가요. So, 매주 was added um, every every Friday. 금요일 is Friday. 매주 in front of it. At 매주 was added. 매주 일요일에 교회에 가요. So, 매주 일요일 means a Sunday. Sunday. Um, 에 교회에 가요. And then 매년, so 매, 매주 is every week. 매년 is every year. So um, 매년 3월에 병원에 가요. 병원 is the um, hospital. 
내년 5월이 더워요. 내년. So you notice that 매주 is um, added in front of the week, and the 매년 was added like the month. So practice conversation. 매일 학교에 가요. Do you go to school every day? 네, 매일 학교에 가요. Yes, I go to school every day. 아니요, 매주 월요일에 가요. No, I go to school every Monday. 어제 날씨가 추웠어요. Was the weather cold yesterday? 네, 추웠어요. Yes, it was cold. 아니요, 더웠어요. Can you repeat after me? 매일. 매일. 학교에. 학교에 가요. 가요. 네. 네. 매일. 매일. 학교에. 학교에 가요. 가요. 아니요. 아니요. 매주. 매주. 월요일에. 월요일에. 가요. 가요. And then. Um, this is another example. They 학교에 갈 거예요. So you notice that this one is the pa- the present tense, present tense, present tense. This is the the um, past tense, past tense, past tense. You notice that 장시 was added, all was added, you was added to be polite. Same thing, and then the same thing for hot. This is the the pa- the present tense. This is the future tense. 갈 거예요 was added. 리을 was added. 가 거예요. That means that 리을 was added. That means that it, was, it didn't have the 받침. So that's why 리을 was added. 내일 학교에 갈 거예요? 아니요. 집에 있을 거예요. No, I'll be at home. 숙제 있어요? Do you have homework? 아니요. 없어요. I don't. 오늘 미국에 가요? Are you going to America today? 아니요, 내일 갈 거예요. No, I will go. To, I will go tomorrow. 언제 한국에 올 거예요? This remember this. This are um future tense. And this one, since it's asking, like, are you going today? This is a pa- uh, present tense. And then 삼월에 올 거예요. Okay, so doing action. Doing actions with someone and with word, you can add 같이 in front of the verb to say things like you did something together with someone. So 같이 plus verb it means to do verb together and the, or somebody plus 하고 같이 plus verb. It means this. Um, so you can add, you can use any of these conver- uh, phrases. So there are three ways to say with someone. The first way is wa and kwa. So you can, I will go over this, all three rules, like the three ways. One, this is one way, the wa and kwa. Second way, hago. Third way, irang. Um, all of this three could also use as an end, but I will go over it in few slides. The first, the first way of with saying with with someone, you will be you will be saying wa or kwa. If someone, if the some like the person you are doing something with has a pachim, so like whenever you have the someone person you are doing something with has um, pachim, then you will use kwa. If not, then wa. So since this one doesn't have a pachim, chingu chingu means a friend. This one doesn't have pachim, therefore wa was used kasoyo as a with. Second way is hagu. You can also use hagu um, as like saying it with. So right here, chingu hagu kasoyo. And if it doesn't matter if you do have a pachim or if you don't have a pachim. So either way, you will use hagu. So chingu hagu kasoyo. This is also the other way of saying it with. The other way you can say it as lang irang. If the person you are doing something with has a pachim and irang. If they, uh, someone has uh, doesn't have a pachim, then lang 
abuse. This one chingu is friend, doesn't have a pachim, right? So therefore you will use lang. Chingu rang kasoyo. So special info that I was just saying previously, wa or kwa, hago in lang or irang also means and. So kimbap hago kimchi ga mashisoyo means kimbap and kimchi are delicious. Ku saram irang that person irang and ku that person are takeo means nice or kind. So, 부모님 하고 식당에 갔어요. I went to restaurant with the family. I mean, parents. So, 하고 it's with. It was used. 식당 means restaurant because it a was added because the location 갔어요 went to. Can anyone volunteer using any of this um, three ways of saying with? Or in? Like, oh, three, this? I have a quick question, though. Mm -hmm. uh, out of the three ways that you say with, which one is the more common or the more that people use? Or the one ha that is. Oh. Okay. I, will, I will go by this one. Ha go. Okay. And Lang or Iran. This is okay, less so common. Is there a difference? There is no difference. Mm -hmm. There are there are no difference. But when you speak, when you speak, I will go by most likely. I will use this one or this one. But yeah, like every common. day with your friends, maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, I most of times I use hagu or lang rida. I don't really use. Ah, or wah. This one is more likely used in um, like when you write. I also heard about hamke or something. Yeah, hamke that means together. Okay. Yeah. Um, can anyone volunteer using any of this three? Oma hago kaso. Oma hago kaso. Oma hago who? Um, you right? Yes. You're referring. To, yeah, you can say that. You don't really have to um, pronounce your because you're referring to. They already know your. Um, they are referring to you, right? Yes. Okay. So um, whenever the item is being bought, watched, eaten, or drank is marked with the object marker. So the person, thing, place that you like or dislike or love is marked with the object marker or or If the item has a pachin, then it will be used, and if not, then it will be used. So um, sada is being um, is bought. So um, item, item plus ur or lir sada. So Whenever you have item that, so let's make an example right here. So piengi pyo means um air airplane ticket. Pyo doesn't have a pachim, so lul was used. Lul sal koyo. Oje sagare sasoyo. I bought an apple. I bought an apple yesterday. Sagare sasoyo. So sasoyo, you know that this is the past tense. This is the, the future tense. They because near it's you know it's referring to the future. They it's uh, tomorrow. Oh day referring to yesterday, so it should be in the it should be in the past tense. So sasoyo. Um Puda to see and or to watch. Item plus ur or lul puda. So to see an item right here, 영화를 볼 거예요. 매, 일요일에 영화를 볼 거예요. 아버지하고 매일 텔레비전을 봐요. 먹다, um, to eat, 를, or, 를 먹다, to eat an item, 매일 김밥을 먹어요. 월요일에 햄버거를 
먹었어요. Okay, so 마시다. It's another phrase that I can use. 를 오늘 마시다. To drink. 매일 차와 커피를 마셔요. 오늘 밤에 오늘 밤에 밤 is the night. Um, and then this is a was used to for to for the time place. And then 물을 마실 많이 많이 means a lot. 마실 거예요. 거요 future tense, present tense. So person, thing, place that you like, dislike, or love is marked with the object marker 을 or 를. So right here, 를, 를 좋아하다 means to like. 제 부모님을 사랑해요. 고양이하고 개를 너무 좋아해요. 너무 means uh, like. 너무 can be used as a negative or positive. As a really, so yeah, that's the dictionary for um, 너무 좋아해요. So you add a, so this is on the distinguish on the rule of distinguish between a or as a. So you add a as a after the noun to show location. So, 미국에 가요. You're going. You're going. In that case, you're using a. 미국에서 와요. Coming from, then it's eso. So I will say to is a from eso, and then a shows where you're going. And yeah, this is the same thing that I just said. Um, and then both a or eso can both mean that. Both mean the biggest difference is a showing existence, like I will go. I will make an example, and then um, while as all shows an acting occurring. And so chibe is so you're you're at home, so you're showing that your existence at home. So in that case, you will use a if it's showing an action. So like you're home playing something, or you're hanging out with your friends. Then you will say chip eso durayo because it's showing an action. Um, so this is another, another example. The thing being studied, lul or lul, be used as an object object marker, and then place where you study is marked with the event location marker eso. So eso thing lul kungbu hada, and then this word will change to basic form. So um, 공부했어요 or 공부해 things like that. Um, to study thing at the place plus at um to study a thing at a plus place. So this is one example that I made. 도서관에서 수학 공부를 했어요. So it means that 했어요 it's the past tense. So this is the time in Korean. So time in Korean. So whenever you're referring to the hours or, or um, the minute. So for the hours, you will use Korean numbers. For the minutes, you will use Chinese numbers. Um, so for the hour, whenever they ask you about si, si, referring to hour. So um, you're, you're answering han si. 2시, 3시, you will just add the numbers. And I will say the difference is someone, like I remember someone asked um, last time. So number three, four, and then 20. Most likely you will have this, this five numbers will be different, like as this one. When you're counting something, when you're counting, um, you will use um, different word. I mean, different, not different word, different little different um, spelling. So, 한시, 두시, 세시, 네시. And then you see, 다섯시, the same thing as number. 여섯시, 일곱시, 여덟시, 아홉시, 열시, 열한시, 열두시. So you can see that um, these four are different. 
numbers than counting the numbers. So bun same thing. You just add pun. This is how many minutes. Pun when you're referring to minutes, it's added pun. So il pun, i pun. You just add all the numbers to the pun. That's the uh, minutes. So um, we'll do more practice on um, making a time. So eight o one, eight o five. So eight o'clock. And then five minutes. You will add the for the hour. I said the Korean numbers is added to C, right? And then the minutes, the Chinese, the Sino Korean is added to the pun, right? So right here, eight o five, eight was added to C. Five o was added to pun. Same thing. I will make it. I will make it right here. Um. So it will be your C. Thirty-seven. Why did I? Thirty-seven. Why am I? And then five-thirty-five. Fifty-seven. Can anyone volunteer to do this one? Since this one doesn't if referring to any minutes, you can just refer the hours only. Seshi. Yes, perfect. Seshi. Perfect. So then, 몇 시에 갈 거예요? What time will we go? 2시 15분에 갈 거예요. I will go at 12:15. So this is this right here. This right here until pun until pun, referring to the time. So a was added. Kai koeo will go will go future tense because koe was added. Dear was added. I, and I know that this basic form didn't have pachin because the dear was added. And then there's she a kai koeo. Kai a was added because what time? The time referring to a. I mean, A was referring to time, and then the ka, kar ko eo is the future tense. What is shibo? Hmm? Which one? Shibo. Shibo? Shibo bun? 15. Shibo 15, right. Ah, yeah. 15. Okay. Mm -hmm. Shibo bun. Okay. Bun was added for the minutes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so pan is means also half. So whenever you have like two shiban like this, um, you can say but also you can say ban means half um, which can be used as a so um, you can um, if you want to more be specify specify am or pm am will be ojon pm will be ohu so right here this one is pm so pm is ohu so you can Add the ohu pm plus the the time. So ohu, this one is referring to tu shi, tu shi, hour tu shi, pan. Pan is I said it also means some shipun like thirty minutes. Can anyone volunteer to do this one? Oh, John, mm -hmm. Um, that means five. Ah, yes, 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 20 pun was added for the minutes. So this is the one other example like of um the conversational just to be more familiar familiar with uh, with the present past and then future tense. So 몇 시에 부산에 갈 거예요? 다섯 시 오십 분에 갈 거예요. 누구하고 갈 거예요? 부모님하고 갈 거예요. So that was that. 
Okay, so that was for the class today. And um, thank you for joining my class for this whole semester. I really enjoyed teaching. And um, I hope I was able to help you improve in Korean. Um, the PowerPoints are based on my credibility. So yeah, I hope no errors and from other outside of resources. Yeah, so I hope you the best of luck wherever you do in the future. Well, thank, thank you, you for so joining. Much. Thank you. Thank you for your patience. Thank you. No, so, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. How do you say thank you in Korean? Means casual. Okay. Yeah. Well, go, go, map, see me da. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, let me see if I can see.